Hey guys, Stone Tech here again. This is what I look for when buying a new motorcycle boot. So we have my Pro First motorcycle boots here. Not the most expensive boot in the world, which is good. But how does it hold up actually in the real world? Well, speaking from experience, you want a boot of a long leg here. Um, a lot of most motorcycle injuries, most motorcycle injuries actually happen to your lower legs and feet area. So a nice boot is going to save you a lot of problems if if you uh, if you ever have an accident, right? Definitely want some good protection for your legs and feet. And I say legs because I've seen a lot of motorcycle boots which end right here. A lot of them don't even have ankle protection, which I, I think is dumb. <laughs> like you may as well just be wearing trainers, yeah? Uh, even hiking boots have ankle protection, so. In my opinion, definitely, if you're gonna be riding a bike in any sort of manner, other than going to the shops and back, you're gonna want something like this, a long boot. The longer it is, the safer it is, but when you get to like adventure boots, when they're up here, they're a bit unwieldy, so I think this kind of thing comes up to about there on my foot, on my leg, about halfway up. That's probably the perfect uh, height for maneuverability and for protection. So why you want it to come up here, it actually provides a stable base for your leg so if that's your foot and that's your leg you don't want this to happen yeah <laughs> you want that to happen if you ever come off the bike which is what good protections are about right so that's what we're talking about you want it to be a nice stable so your whole leg turns like this and not your ankle <coughs> breaking like that uh, now, if you ever drop your bike in your driveway or something, having a strong boot like this can help because a lot of the time, a lot of ax, a lot of, a lot of the time, the injuries that happen to your lower legs and feet can literally just happen outside your house in your driveway. Now, what happens if you are wearing a small boot down here and you drop your bike in the driveway and your pegs? dig into your calf trapping you under your bike maybe it traps you where the exhaust is on your lower leg and you can't move because the bike is 240 kilograms or more <laughs> you're in an awkward position where you can't push it and there's no one around to run over and grab you how long until it burns through your textile trousers and melts them into your leg right so Having some kind of leather protection on your calves, I think is number one thing I'm gonna look for. I will never buy a boot, which is down here, basically. Now, again, I said it already, but the second most important thing for me is gonna be ankle protection. So even a little bit, doesn't have to be like the most expensive carbon fiber or Kevlar, like you've, e Kevlar that you've ever had. Even a little bit of ankle protection is better than nothing, right? So that's what I look for next specifically this area so that area there same kind of bone yeah look how it sticks out ankle you don't want damage to the ankle because you need your ankles to walk anywhere right <laughs> so you definitely want some protection here and on the inside is is also really good because obviously that area is very uh bony as well so yeah anywhere you you have bones you want some sort of protection, yeah. Now, the next thing I'm gonna look for is how pliable they are. So before I've had these nice adventure boots and they were quite tall and they looked cool as hell, right? But getting on the bike, I just couldn't, I couldn't even feel what I'm doing with the brakes or anything like that. So you want, you're gonna want something to be quite bendy and pliable and light yeah because you don't want to be heavy footed on a bike right especially not a sport bike like like i have right now you've got to be able to feel what you're doing with the brake perfectly so yeah a light boot is what you're gonna want 
not too heavy, not too thick here. Obviously, like protection is good on this area, but you're not gonna want something which is like this big, because you're not even gonna be able to get it underneath the the, the clutch um, paddle. <laughs> Another thing what I'm going to be looking for when getting a bike is some kind of protection here. Now, if you imagine we're going pretty quick, we're taking a left corner. Where is your, where is this part of the foot? It's, it's on the road, yeah? So sometimes, and you can actually see some marks here. I've scraped my foot on the, on the road, going a little bit quick, scraping the pegs feet just dangling off a little bit on the peg and they touch the ground so you're going to want some kind of protection here um just stops the road digging into your boots and i'm assuming if you ever had a low side that's where your foot is going to be touching the road first so some kind of protection by here is cool now i have seen some uh some ones with metal here which is even cooler because if you're scraping your feet on the floor, it makes sparks, <laughs> which is cool as hell, right? Uh, that's pretty much all I'm going to be looking for in, in some kind of boot. Anything else is extra and it's up to you to decide what you want. So if you want like a really good waterproof boot, for example, it's going to be more pricey, but if you're looking for something that's waterproof, you're going to be riding in the rain, then eh, it's up to you, right? I'm not bothered by that because I've sworn off riding in the rain just because I hate it when my bike gets dirty as hell, right? And in the UK, our roads are like disgusting. So when there's water, it just flings up all this crap all over your bike. So waterproof doesn't bother me. These kind of hold up okay in light rain. In heavy rain, you f my feet did get wet. It's looking quite uh, smooth on the bottom now, so I might be looking for some new boots. So yeah, if you have any recommendations for some cheap, good boots, kind of like this one, let me know in the comments. Uh, if you guys want to send me some boots, and I'll review them, and I'll keep them. <laughs> send them my way. But yeah, these... Pro first boots definitely look them up because they're cheap and they've well they've uh, they've done me pretty well. I even had a low side in them and uh, my ankle got a little bit twisted. But if I wasn't wearing some kind of nice high boot like this, it would have been a lot worse, I think. So yeah, definitely look them up if you're looking for some new boots. They ain't that bad. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to give the video a like. And if you want to see more videos, subscribe to the channel. See you next time.